But not only does his name reveal him to be wonderful, I believe that the way that he was born, his birth reveals that he is God's wonderful Christ. Amen. His birth was announced by an angel. It was not announced by the Mountain Eagle or the Lexington Herald or by the whatever local newspaper. The angelic host was right. and announced his birth. He was conceived by the Holy Ghost in the womb of a virgin named Mary. His birth place or his birthing place was a stable or an ox stall. And a babe as a babe, he was known from afar. The Bible said that there was wise men from the east that traveled in a caravan to come. And the God of God and Cain and Smith and Mary, they recognized him as a prophet and a king and a priest. The shepherds declared his birth and he was the great savior of the world to them. Even his Christ. In the second chapter of Luke, we hear him talking to the doctors and the lawyers at age 13. At age 30, he's still the carpenter's son. He's the bread of life, yet he went hungry. He's the water of life, but he went thirsty. He can calm the rage and sea, or he can bless the little child. He can preach to the multitude, or he can speak to one another.
culture, but he gave his grave to another man. He gives comfort to the widow, and he's a father to the orphan, to the traveler in the night. He is the bride and the morning star. To the father, he's the lily of the valley and the beautiful bones of Sarah. He is the honey and the rock and the brightness of his father's glory, the express image of his person. He is the purchaser of the He gave his shoulders to be draped with a robe of 
Christ today. Even when he's dying, he is proof to the world that he's God's wonderful Christ. I can preach on a lot of things today. I can preach on the way you live, the way you dress, the way you talk. We can preach on theology. We can preach on doctrine. We can preach on baptism. We can preach on a lot of things today. The most important thing in the whole wide world is to know this message. Isaiah said, His name shall be called Wonderful. Hallelujah. It don't make no difference. Hollywood has called him a farce. Some of them call him a homosexual. Some of them say that he's a liar. Others say that it is a good story from an old book. But Isaiah said he is. Yeah. Hallelujah. He is God's wonderful. His dead reveals that he's wonderful. But he don't stop there. Roll the stone at the door if you will. But there's more to be told. Even his resurrection testifies that he was wonderful. You see, the Roman government was against his resurrection. Yeah. Unbelief and doubt was against the resurrection. The Jews was against his resurrection. But you know what? He arose anyway. Yeah. He came to arise to say that he is wonderful. He came out of the grave and he told Peter, Go back to Jerusalem and tell that man that spit in my face about this wonderful salvation. <laughs> He come out of the grave and he said, you don't tell the man that whipped me with that whip. Oh, and now that there's sickness in his body, there's a way of healing prepared. By those stripes, he is healed. He come out of the grave and said, don't tell the man that plucked out my beard that I still love him. He come out of the grave and said, don't tell the man that played in that crown of thorns that I've got a crown of righteousness.
He's alive, he's gone. We're here to pin first self. <laughs> but I believe the resurrected Christ is manifested and he's wonderful. And I believe it also testifies that he's still working among men today. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know whether you do it or not. But when you come into this house this morning, as the singer saying and the drama team did their work. I believe the Holy Spirit is fluttering Amen. over this house this morning. Amen. He's fluttering over those lost souls. He's fluttering over those that can't make their mind up whether they want to get in or get out. He's fluttering over those that you've been praying for for months that know they need to make a decision. Hallelujah. It looks like they're in a no-win situation because I believe when God said it, and he still lives and he's still healing the sick and afflicted. He's still bringing salvation to the lost. He's still sanctifying men holy through the power of his spirit. He, he's alive and he continues to give grace and all the power to meet the needs of the human heart. Truly, this is God's wonderful Christ. When Jesus comes again in the clouds, y'all believe in the second coming of Christ? Amen. You know, you gotta watch where you're preaching anymore. People don't believe that anymore. <laughs> they believe you go home, you talk it on Saturday night and shout on Sunday, but I don't see it that way. Man. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Some people believe they can just have a, come have a hold out and live like they want to, but they better read the book. Yeah. <laughs> it's all the way God don't move in my life. Better check yourself. <laughs> But when he comes again, did he not say that if I go, I will yeah. come again? Did he tell those that was gathered at the grave? The Bible said he appeared to about 500 people. When he come, when he come out of the grave, the Bible said he sitting up right there in front of them. But you know what the angels were saying? The angels said they were standing there dancing. He said, "Won't be in Galilee while standing."